talk about Herschel Walker. What's up guys and welcome to another video and this is a very exciting video. This is our 10th video and I am so glad that we got here. I've definitely been trying to work really hard to get to here so uh, just a little bit on that. I think I'm gonna reel it in a bit and I won't be posting as many videos now that I think we have a good foundation. I'm really wanting to focus on quality over quantity. So instead of just getting videos out there to start to build a body, I'm gonna focus on less videos, but making them a lot better. So kind of where we are with that. Thank you guys for all your support. Thank you guys for watching these videos. Uh, I still, if you have any tips or advice, I'm always open for that stuff. That's how we learn. And I uh, figure we can only go up from here, right? It can only get better. So. Thank you guys and excited to see what the future holds. This weekend marks the kickoff of the NFL football season. We had our first game Thursday and now we really get going here on Sunday. So very excited about that. It's been a while, wasn't sure what was gonna happen, but excited that we're finally getting back to some football. Now my favorite football player of all time is Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker is arguably one of the greatest college football running backs of all time. He won the Heisman Trophy in 82, and the man was just insane. He was insane. He played for the Georgia Bulldogs, which is where my dad went. And he said he was walking behind him in the class one day, said he didn't have a neck. It was just his shoulders to his ears. His neck was so huge, and his legs were like tree trunks. Now, Herschel Walker has a super cool story. Basically, he was a chubby kid. Kids were making fun of him. So he started to work out, started to train, and he ended up reaching phenomenal physical feats with that. But growing up in a rural area of Georgia, he couldn't afford a gym, and really they didn't even have gyms around a whole lot, so he just did bodyweight exercises. And when I say he did bodyweight exercises, he did an insane amount of bodyweight exercises. We're talking he would do 1,500 push-ups a day, 3,000 sit-ups, 1,500 pull-ups and chin-ups, you know, just different kinds of, of pulling ups. Uh, he would do a thousand squats, a thousand lunges, a thousand dips, in addition to some other working stuff and plus a sprint workout, but more details on that one in a little bit. So today we are going to train and eat like Herschel Walker. Now his diet's a little different too. He was doing intermittent fasting before it was cool. Herschel Walker would only eat one meal a day and it would be soup, salad, and bread. So. If Herschel Walker ever sees this, I hope I make him proud. And you guys, this is going to be insane. Basically, my strategy for this, I'm kind of thinking of it on a 15-hour day. And every hour, I'm going to try and do at least 100 push-ups and then break it down in that. So 100 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, 100 pull-ups or chin-ups, and going on down the line. So we'll end up finishing the ones that are only a thousand a little earlier, but I figured this way we're cutting it off in bite-sized bunches because this is a huge volume load. Really, I think that the pull-ups, chin-ups, and the sit-ups are gonna be the hardest part. I think everything else will be okay with. So it's early. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. We're gonna see what it is to train and eat for a day like Herschel Walker. Also, I think it would be to my best advantage to not try and go the max number of push-ups and all that I can do each time. So what I'm going to do is try and do it in like 25 push-up increments. So a set of 25 and then I'll roll do the sit-ups and then roll to the chin-ups and then I'll come back around to the push-ups again. That way it's not just to max each time.
already reevaluating the strategy I think I'm going to do to try and complete this. I um, think what I'm going to try and do is knock out the push-ups, the dips, the squats, and the lunges. Feeling good on those, I can knock out a bunch of them, and I'm really already struggling with doing all the pull-ups, uh, chin-ups, and, uh, and sit-ups. So I think I'm going to try this morning to knock out as much of those that I can, and then I'll save the chin-ups, pull-ups, and the uh, sit-ups for later. And I'll sprinkle some in here and there just to chip away at it, but uh, definitely struggling with those a little bit, so we're going to save them for later. So I've got to take a break real quick. I have a meeting this morning I have to go to. And uh, I think while I'm there, there's a big field next to it. So we're going to do our sprint workout, but uh, still chugging along, really enjoying it. So I'll see you guys when it's time to run. Part of Herschel Walker's workout was a running plan and he really did a lot of sprints and a lot of hills, but we don't have a lot of hills around here. So I'm just going to do a sprint workout. Basically I have two that I'm going to do. First, I'm going to do a hundred yard sprint. It's 50 yards to the last cone. 100 yard sprint, 90, 80 until we get down to 50, run the 50 again, and then back up a ladder in that way. And then I'm going to do a suicide sprint, so 10, 20, all the way to 50, and then 50 again, work our way back down with the suicide. So this is the sprint workout I'm going to do. So let's get to it. So obviously I'm not a sprint runner, definitely more of an endurance long distance runner, but the run is over. Still got a long ways to go before we've hit all our benchmarks for the Herschel Walker workout. <sighs> so I'll catch up with you guys when we get home and when I've caught my breath. What's up guys, partway through the training, still got a long ways to go, but uh, about to eat the one meal of the day that Herschel Walker used to eat. Now he would do a lot of soup, a lot of salad, a lot of bread, and just that one meal, the intermittent fasting. So uh, I've changed it a little bit from how he would do it. He's a vegetarian, so he doesn't eat a lot of meat. He'll eat some chicken every now and then, but I ended up doing a clam chowder. I got these little baguettes with butter, and then I have just a regular you know, garden salad. So uh, gonna go ahead and eat this, uh, refuel a little bit. I am feeling kind of lethargic and such, but um, yeah, we'll get to it, and I'll catch up with you when we're done. Update real quick. I'm still grinding through, still trying to get there. There's just a lot of volume to get through these. So started out trying to recording each set. Of course, that's gonna be a lot sparser because recording doing 1500 pushups would be insane with everything else. So still grinding through, but it is a lot tougher, more time consuming than it is actually like physically draining, but um, still pushing through and I'll, I'll update you guys in a little bit. What's up guys? It's gotten pretty late and got some bad news. This challenge kicked my butt. I've made it about halfway through and just the volume of it is enormous. I mean, just so many push-ups, so many chin-ups, so many sit-ups. So it's gotten late enough and I do have some things I need to do early tomorrow morning. So I'm not gonna pull a late one trying to do it. And I would love to visit this challenge again. Um, just the volume is so much that I definitely underestimated how much it would be. So just a quick recap for how the day went. The training overall, again, I would just need to start earlier and stay more dedicated to doing it when I said I was going to do it, you know, breaking it down to the hours and making sure that I'm knocking it out throughout the day instead of trying to clump it up in different sections. Um, the diet was actually really difficult. Uh, intermittent fasting isn't something that I really enjoy. So um, when I was trying to train early in the afternoon, I was really hungry because I hadn't eaten breakfast or at that point lunch. And I could tell, you know, a little, not fatigue, but just wasn't really feeling it. Um, so I was trying to train through, but ended up eating an early dinner of, like I said earlier, that soup, salad, and bread. And, um, and then if you want to do like a true Herschel Walker thing, you can always add fruit and stuff in it. Just a kind of vegetarian soup and salad bread thing. 
but you know, I'm going to go ahead and have to call it, you know, call this one a failure. I failed this challenge of, of training like Herschel Walker. I knew that man was a beast. I just didn't realize how much of a beast this was. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely something I'm wanting to revisit here in a couple months and uh, go ahead and try and knock it out again. But for right now, I'm just going to call it how it is. I failed. I didn't make it. Better luck next time. I hope that you guys are inspired to try this challenge. Make sure, you know, just tips real quick. Make sure that you're setting aside enough time. Make sure that you're ready for the nutrition. Make sure you're ready to go in for the long haul. But overall, I really enjoyed it. I did really enjoy it. Um, I'm not feeling fatigued. You know, my arms don't hurt. My chest isn't sore. Just not a lot of sore muscles. Uh, my legs are from that sprint workout, actually, interesting enough. But... Um, ultimately i wasn't worn down it was just trying to knock out so many just overwhelmed me and really i messed up with time management that was my bad so hope that you guys get to try this one out i've got it listed in the comments and in the thumbnail but go ahead and see if you can train and make it in a day living like herschel walker so i hope you guys enjoyed it this is our 10th video really excited thank you for the support and i will see you guys in the next video have a good one